What are the challenges of uh, 2020 mobile network use cases scenarios? Why do we really need a new system like 5G? Uh, can't we just evolve from 4G systems? Well, let's say that, that, that as uh, everybody is agreeing that, that there is uh, some need for new capacity and, and to get the significantly new capacity you need to go for new spectrum. And that new spectrum is, is likely to be much easier to, to get on higher frequencies. And that just for, from the perspective of the let's say physical reality on the, on, on the RF, you, you end up into problems with phase noise bandwidth increasing and so on due to the increase in the carrier frequency. And so just, just to cope with this increased phase noise, you want to make your, let's say, fundamental physical layer frequency wider. And that just means that you have to change your physical layer and, and you are in a non-backward compatible radio system. So we need a new uh, 5G system uh, because of the spectrum actually usage and this new uh, op spectrums, uh, yeah, high high spectrum. Yes. Um, yes. So how do we manage uh, uh, this uh, spectrum? Uh, do you think it should be licensed and un unlicensed uh, uh, above a certain uh, band? Well, it depends a bit on, on what you are thinking about, uh, what is a usage scen scenario. So if, if you think that, that somehow uh, we are talking about some using higher frequencies inside a building, then where the owner of the building premises somehow has a role also in a sense that by giving, giving place to possible base stations and so on, then one would imagine that, that you don't really need anything but un license or license except uh, exempt operation because you would have these high frequency signals which would not propagate much out outside of the building premises wh where you are or wh which you have right to decide over whereas if in uh, some more complex scenarios where you may have a multiple multiple players sharing some some place like i don't know outside some shopping malls, whatever, there it may be that, that you may go for some more complex uh, coexistence protocols in order to decide who is, who is, uh, who is serving, who is uh, using which spectrum at what time. But also in th that said, one should think that, that it may be that, 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 that not fully unlicensed in the sense that, that, that if that, that guy who owns the spectrum kind of can decide how that spectrum is used inside the building, then it, is, it doesn't mean it is unlicensed in the sense because it doesn't mean that then every not everybody from the city cannot come to the building and start to use the spectrum as they want in a sense. Mm -hmm. So one need to would need to have some kind of arrangement where there is a limited some kind of limited right of, of, of using the spectrum, so which is some sense of licensing, mm -hmm. but so that not everybody can use the license in every place so that you can keep interference at bay. Okay, um, do you have any last um, thing to say to the researchers? You know, where are the innovations exactly? Well, the innovations would be, I think, in, in if, if you go for, let's say that, that if it's you open up, open up the possibility to access spectrum in this uh, like unforeseen ways li like very reliable very low latency and such things and you open this up so that, that people can start to openly innovate using some some very f very reliable access technology and and make use of that okay thank you very much